Hi my loves and thank you for joining me with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my October favorites. Um, just a few things that I purchased and got during the month of October and um, I figured why not make a video on it. So the first thing that I really, really would like to show is my LV the monogram canvas clutch so it's like a clutch purse it's not that big it comes with a wristlet strap um, and then the front has this area here and it's monogram it's brown and monogram on the inside as well so it doesn't hold a whole lot of stuff, which is good. That's the reason that I got it, because I didn't want to get something where I have to hold a lot of stuff in it. But um, it's a clutch. So, I mean, I, I feel like it's bigger than the normal clutch that, you know, a, a woman would normally carry. But this is my number one <laughs> October favorite. Some of the items that I actually have in here is what I would like to mention that is some of my favorites um so i wanted to try i've heard so much about the dove hand sanitizer and this is actually shea butter and warm vanilla and when i tell you guys this smells so good it's a little bit um to me on the pricey side for hand sanitizer, but nowadays hand sanitizer is like four or five hours anyway. So yeah, it smells really, really good. Like it has the alcohol smell to it, but it also has the shea butter and the vanilla smell to it. So this is a favorite, a new favorite. It kind of smells like it has the soap in it along with the alcohol if that makes any sense but yeah so so good it says 99.99 .99 effective so okay so i've been using this a lot um i actually have two of those and then i have some items from bath and body work that i keep in this purse so this is one um, this is a vanilla buttercream shea butter hand cream. And again, it smells just like it sounds, like vanilla, vanilla buttercream. So this is a favorite. And then I, this is another antibacterial spray in the scent Champagne Toast. And this is for your hands as well. So all of these things I keep in my clutch um, when I'm traveling. Um, and it just, it smells so good. If you guys know about champagne toast, I think they have this in a candle. They have this in a body mist, I believe. Um, not sure what else they have it in. Probably a, a, a shower gel, but it smells delicious. Um, so that's Champagne Toast, the anti antibacterial hand spray. So I keep those items definitely in my bag, um, along with my cocoa butter hydrating lip therapy. So this is definitely, definitely, this is an all month, any month favorite, um, every month <laughs> so yeah and i think i got this i think i got this from the beauty supply store so i'll try to link it if i can find a link um yeah so that's that that's my favorites as far as what i have in my purse and my husband bought me thousand wishes from bath and body works um this was for our anniversary one of the my, one of my gifts along with the hand cream the little vanilla buttercream hand cream that was a gift as well um i don't know if you guys know about this scent 
but the this is one of the really really um how can i explain it it's it's just oh. It smells so good. Oh, you guys are in Bath and Body. If you don't know what this smells like, go and try it out. This is a new phase. So this is a body mist, one of my favorites that I've been kind of spraying on every month since October. And then my three wick candles, of course. So this scent is winter candy apple now i love these normally they don't bring these out until like christmas time but i got lucky and they brought this fragrance out earlier than christmas so this is the winter candy apple um and like i said the name is exactly what it smells like it it smells like a candy apple Yes, is pumpkin pecan waffles. And again, it smells just like the name, pumpkin pecan waffles. And it really, really smells like you're cooking waffles, like pumpkin waffles. Um, and I have blueberry sugar. Now, I haven't really burned any of these yet. I did burn the pumpkin, the pecan waffles. I had a, a one wick, a smaller one, and that's how I knew I liked that scent. So I was like, to me, anything pumpkin, anything waffle is, yeah, I like it. So this is blueberry sugar, and this smells delicious. Sometimes I'll be like, I want to burn all of them at the same time, but girl, strawberry pound cake. Now this is almost gone. Um, I've been burning this for quite some time. I, like I said, I bought the little one first and I was like, oh my God, like this is my favorite. Like I can buy like four or five of these at one time and this will be my scent for my, my whole entire house. Now, if you burn this along with, um, I think it was like a white linen or a vanilla, it was like a vanilla flavor, uh, a vanilla scent. This and that vanilla together, it just gives you a whole like love type of vibe. Like it's just the bomb, okay? Room sprays, and this one is watermelon lemonade. And I got this from um, Bath & Body as well. This is a Bath & Body spray. Now, I normally, even though it's a room spray, you can't spray in your room as though it's like an air freshener, but I like to keep these in my car sometimes um, to spray it in my car. Um, so it really, it, like all you need is just one spray. You don't have to do too much. And then, the last one I have is linen and lavender. Okay, so yeah, these were like eight fifty. Sometimes they have a sale where it's like maybe seven fifty. I'm not sure if they have gone as low as even being six fifty, but it depends because they have different sizes. I purchased this barefoot. This is barefoot healing overnight foot treatment it says it nourishes and softens skin overnight and it has marula oil and cocoa butter in it and it says use it two to three times a week now the way that you're supposed to use this is it says massage onto clean feet focusing on the heels and callous skin then cover your feet with cotton socks and leave on overnight to condition now I don't wear socks to bed. I just can't. Unless I'm freezing, then I will put on some socks. But normally, I do not wear socks to bed. So what I do is, like maybe after you, you know, after I take my shower, I'll go ahead and I'll put this on my feet, and then I'll put on some like fuzzy socks or something, and then I'll let it like condition my feet like that. And then once I'm ready for bed, I'll take my socks off 
and it's just really it just keeps it keeps just your feet really really soft and i got this from five below so this tube it's like 4.2 fluid ounces I, I don't even think this was actually five dollars this probably was like maybe three because i think this might have been in a three dollar bin yeah so if you guys are interested and you take care of your feet, which you should be doing, ladies, take care of your feet. You don't always have to pay money and go and get them scrubbed, which is always the best thing, though. But when you're on a budget <laughs> and your maintenance that you want to keep up on your feet, you definitely want to use creams and scrubs and stuff like that for your feet. And then I just found some things in Dollar Tree. Um, I found this LA Color Lip Oil, and I haven't actually used it yet, but I like anything that's lip and oil to it. So this is a lip oil. Um, I'm gonna open it because I don't know. Okay, so it says it's called Sweet Dreams, and it's from LA Colors, and it's just a lip oil, and I'm just going to swatch a little bit to see if it's sticky. Hopefully it's not. And it's not. So, Dollar Tree. Okay. So, I actually haven't used it yet. But when I seen it, I was like, I got to get it. So, and like I said, I like anything that's oily for your lips, not sticky. Um, and then while I was in there, I went ahead and got me another applicator sponge. Now, if you do makeup and you do a lot of highlight, you know, with their concealer, you can even use this to put your foundation on. Um, in most of my videos, when I'm putting on my makeup, I use the sponge, because to me, it's way better than using a brush uh, for me. Some people even use their fingers, their hands to, you know, put their foundation on. But yeah, I bought plenty of these before and um, they had all different colors. So I just went ahead and got one in pink. And so it has a little point at the tip, which is really good. And that's good for getting in the crease, you know, like the crease of your eye and really getting in there. So I like the shape of it. And then you can use this flat part to kind of press in on your skin, press in the foundation on your skin. And so, yeah, you can really utilize this sponge brush. So again, Beauty Blender Sponge, Dollar Tree, $1. And I did buy the lashes that I have on now. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see this. I will put um a picture of it i'll put a picture up of it and let you guys see it but um these are okay i mean they're very natural to me in my opinion they're not like really really like dramatic um they're just like a really light and wispy type of natural lash you know if you ever want a natural lash so yeah that is everything that i have as far as my october favorites um i hope you guys enjoyed this video please remember to like comment and subscribe and um yeah i hope to see you guys in another video i do appreciate appreciate you guys for watching stay blessed bye